All right, so here are several vectors. There is A, B, C. There are two dimensional vectors, D, F. Okay, so they want you to evaluate these, all these quantities. Okay, what I'll do is, um, I'll do this one, okay? Now to do any algebra, what you have, what is the first thing you have to do? Find their components, okay? So we'll have to find the components of A, F, and D, okay? So A is, Ten cosine thirty i plus ten sine thirty j. Okay. All right. So eight point seven i. Now, so here's something you want to okay. Those formulas for the components work as long as you're measuring the angle counterclockwise from the x-axis. Okay, but um, that can be you know. So, for instance, in this case, this angle is given from the negative x-axis. Okay. So you can find the angle from this x, from the x-axis, that would be 180 plus 30, 210 degrees. Okay. But uh, you want to learn this technique. So here's a, a right angle triangle, if that's the angle. The opposite side is A sine theta. And the adjacent side is A cosine theta. Okay. So for the vector F, Here's F, the magnitude is 20, and there is the angle 30 degrees. So this side would be 20 cosine 30, and this side would be 20 sine 30. Okay. So we are writing the magnitudes of those sides in terms of the, that right angle. What is F? It's negative 20 cosine 30. You're having to put in the sine of the component by hand. Minus 20 sine 30 j. Did you guys understand that? You want to be able to do that. Yeah, that's much faster. You could have measured the angle from the x-axis. And then the sign would automatically be come out right. Okay. Plus twenty sine two ten J. And you you can test it out. Okay. So anyway, F turns out to be So F will turn out to be negative 17.4. And Y will turn out to be 10, negative 10. Okay. And let's see, what is, we need D. And that's given to be, 20 and 37 degrees. So D is, okay, there is the X component, that would be 20 cosine 37, except that that's negative, okay? So you put in the sine by hand, 20 cosine 37 I plus 20 sine 37 J, 
the y component is positive okay <coughs> So what is it that we want to find? So let's gather our results. A is 8.7. Okay, so all we've done is we've found the components of the vectors, okay? I mean, we found the vectors in terms of the components. And now we can do the problem, okay? And what is it that we want to find? A cross F dot B dot D, okay? So A cross F dotted with D. Okay, so the way to solve this problem is we'll first find the cross product, we'll find that vector, and then we'll dot that with D. Okay. So here is A cross F. Okay. A X I plus A Y J cross F X I F Y J. All right, so now what we'll do is I'll show you another technique. What we'll do is we'll take, so, so here is the vector. I cross I, any vector crossed with itself is zero. I cross J is K. So we'll distribute these terms over there, okay? All right, so. So the first term is i cross i, that's zero. The second term is a, x, f, y, i cross j. And this one time I'll write it out. a, x, f, y, i cross j. Plus the second term, a, y, j cross i, j cross i is negative k. Yeah. So this would be a y f x j cross i and then this other term would be j cross j which is zero okay. so this is equal to a x f y k and that's minus k so minus a y f x all right so this is a x F Y A Y F X okay. All right, let's see if uh, this makes sense or at least if we're doing it right. Okay, <clears throat> you see A is a vector in the X Y plane. F is a vector in the X Y plane. The cross product of these two has to be perpendicular to the xy plane, which is it has to be along the z direction, either z or minus z direction. And you see the cross product, product is okay, perpendicular to the xy plane. All right, so this is equal to eight points. AXFY 8.7 times minus 10 minus AYFX 
minus 5 times minus 17.4. And this is equal to minus 87 plus uh, 174 plus, wow, zero. Okay. So the cross product is A cross F is zero, okay. And so A cross F dotted with D would be 0k dotted with D is it doesn't matter I mean it's uh, plus you're dotting it with a zero vector so you'll get a zero vector okay but anyway even if this was not zero, this k dot i would be zero and k dot j would be zero. Okay, so what is the answer? Zero, zero i plus zero j plus zero k. Yep. Hmm?